Hello, this is Hetty again. What I'm gonna be making for you today is zapala. These are the zapalas that you find in the street festivals, the street feasts, St. Anthony, Mount Carmel, whatever. What I have here is two cups of sifted bread flour. Now you don't have to use bread flour, you could use regular flour. And I'm gonna to add to this a teaspoon of yeast, dried yeast, and a teaspoon of salt. Mix it together. By the way, I sifted the flour. I like to uh, save time so you guys don't have to watch a very long video. So I'm mixing this in, mix it well. And to this, I'm gonna add a cup of warm water, about 110, 115 degrees. The dough, after you mix it, should be sticky. If it's not sticky, just add a little bit more water. So mix it around, get it very uh, well mixed. You can see here. See how gooey, ooey gooey it is? That's a good thing. My friend Ciro, my girlfriend Lorraine and her husband Ciro, he used to sell zapalas at all the feasts. He used to go to San Gennaro. He used to go to Brooklyn. Uh, but a home base was Mount Carmel on 115th Street. I used to love going there because we. They, he used to have long, long lines around the block. But when we went there, they just used to slip us a bag. At the time, they, I think there were... Three for 10 cents, so three for a quarter. Not like that anymore. I think they're like, you get $5. Okay, so this is the dough. You see how sticky it is? What I'm gonna do is cover the dough and put it in a warm place. I like to sit, so put it in a, an oven that is not turned on, of course or a microwave and let it sit for an hour and a half until it's like double in size. I'll be back when the dough is risen. Okay, so I have the oil heating up. The dough has risen and it should look like this. With lots of holes. It's been in the uh, heating area for about an hour and a half, two hours. And so now I'm gonna fry them. Station identification. <laughs> you should take like a spoon, actually dip the spoon in the oil so the dough gets released easily. Take a look at that. The temperature of the oil should be about 300 degrees. Wow. Now I have here confectionery sugar and I have cinnamon sugar. I like to have a little blend. This recipe should make about 15 or 16 Zapalas, depending on size. And you should have about two inches to three inches worth of oil to fry them in. Here we go. I've dipped it in the oil to get uh, the dough released. Okay, that should be enough for now. They'll drop to the bottom and then rise to the top as they heat up. Okay, you should, they should be brown on each side 
as you, as you turn them over. I'll be back when they're a little done. So they've been frying for a little bit, more than a few minutes. And uh, they're looking good. I had the temperature at 300, but I upped it, it got it to like 320 because uh, it really wasn't browning. So you have to use your discretion as far as how to, how, what the temperature is on frying. But these are pretty good. There you go. All right, so I'll take these two out. Let them, the oil get off a little bit. And then uh, while they're draining, some of them will get the powder, which, woo! How do you like that? <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate, especially at this moment. Well, you certainly have enough. It's great to have all of the. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And then what I'll do is with this one, I'll put in the cinnamon sugar, which I like. That's what you. Get. That's what happens when you don't put the, the cover on tightly. So, wow. You're supposed to put a lot of powdered sugar. But that's plenty. Wow. Mmm. Nice and crispy. I hope you try them. I'm going to have one with. Well, what was that? Cinnamon and sugar. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to fry up this batch. And I hope you try them. Mmm. Crispy. Crunchy. Sugary. <laughs> oh. Until next time. So the end result is I put it at 325 degrees. And uh, hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever. Cut it. Just 